The end is always a beginning. The beginning is always an end. Welcome to Wild Biz Nebraska. I'm Lynn Hinderocker with Bruce Aaron, and we're going to talk to you about an event that's coming right up here on December 17th. It's kind of a wrap up for 2022. It's the beginning of a new mindset for 2023, an exciting growth oriented mindset. Bruce, I know you're on track with this <laughs> attitudinal shift, right? Oh, on track. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's so strange to hear somebody say 2023. It, you know? It, it really I is. I mean, I haven't really gotten into that mindset yet. Yes. Well, you know, there is a numerology uh, thing that you could go with a 2023 and two and two and three is five and the two is seven. Seven is a very important number, but we won't go down just, that road. Yeah, you, anyway, yeah, so awesome. the, uh, the organization Nebraska, many people are familiar with that right now, has we've moved downtown to Omaha, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, 19th and Howard, and we're going to have a kind of a, a housewarming, an open house, and, uh, and provide some uh, real solid um, content um, kind of a presentation or workshop type thing right there in, uh, in Modus, which is where the event is being held. And I just wanted to visit with you a little yeah. bit about the message of, of the thing. Because not only are we going to have one, <laughs> this is classic, right? We're going to have two. We're going to overdo it okay. and then try to squeeze it all into uh, 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 one bag. But the first thing is this. When, when they get there, uh, when our guests come to this particular event, uh, we're going to invite them in and have them sit down. It's a very interesting kind of open living room, kitchenette type environment. Okay. Informal, okay. but rather open. Okay. I think that'll be okay. And we'll have some snacks around, of course. And we're going to, the, the first, like I said, message uh, after welcoming them, welcoming them to, the, uh, to the event and so on, will be called Vision, Fusion, and Passion. Okay. All right. Now, this is a, uh, a presentation that I give occasionally, and it always is pretty successful. Do you remember the whole I concept? I remember here? it, but I don't remember what. Yeah, yeah the whole the, the concept is this, and it's a really very appropriate for 2023, because okay. everybody is going, how do we go to the next level? 2022 has been a rough, kind of a rough year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a time of uncertainty and passivity in some ways. So when I was a little kid uh, on the farm, uh, I'd come down and watch TV on Saturday mornings. That was the big deal. Yeah. I'm sure you can kind of relate to that. Oh, I and, totally do. And I'd be, I'd be watching TV in the den area and so on. My mother, every Saturday, would bake fresh cookies. Yeah. yeah. That's a good mom. Yeah. And uh, I loved it, of course. And uh, she'd be out there doing that. And I could smell it and so on. <clears throat> but then she would never let me kind of in, get involved during the process. But she'd go upstairs when they were all done and they're sitting out. And they, they, she actually would put them in a, uh, you know, a cookie jar. Cookie jar. Uh, right. Good old-fashioned thing there. And so I'd sneak out. I have to admit, I would sneak out into the kitchen, look around, you know, and I would grab this little stool that my grandpa had made for me way back in the day, and it had three, three legs. It was that kind of a right, like construction or design. And it was just big enough. I could push it up to the, to the cupboard, get up on top of that, uh, that stool, and uh, reach out, and I could pull the, I could reach the, to the cookie jar, right? This is where the slippery slope began, right? Your downfall. <laughs> right, this was the beginning of the end <laughs> for me. That is so true. No, at any rate, though, that was, I would get a couple of warm cookies okay. and go back in there and eat munch on them while I'm watching cartoons. Sure. You know, and, um, <laughs> but, but the thing was this, when I was, when I was in, the, in the TV room and so on, and I would smell it a little bit, you know, oh, yeah. and I would envision eating the cookies, right? I, mean, I was envisioning <laughs> how it was going to be, and I was uh, really happy about that. Oh, yeah. But so many companies these days, if I ask them straight up and, and you know, candid, serious conversation, what's the vision for, for next year? Right. They have difficulty they, with that. They can't smell the cookies. <laughs> they can't smell the cookies. Yeah. Right. Or they act like they give me some really big idea, uh, but they themselves would admit that uh, we probably aren't going to achieve that. Yeah. You know, that'd be too hard for us. They can't reach the cookie jar. It needs to be attainable. Well, it needs to be thing. attainable. Right? Yeah. That's right. And they don't have this, the, the stubby little um, stool well, to like get a, up on a like bun. Like a milking stool, that yeah, kind of Yeah, it was thing? that kind of a thing. Right, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, so we're using that as a symbol here, obviously. Sure, sure. So, so the first thing is they struggle with getting to the vision. They don't know how to get the... And, and by the way, what are the cookies in the cookie jar? What do they symbolize for them? In other words, what are the tangible goals? Once they get to the cookie, they can right. reach the cookie jar. By the way, a technology guy that I was chatting with about this one time said, well, technology is the enabler. 
Technology mm. is what would enable you to kind of reach the jar. Okay. But it's up to you guys to figure out what, what, what you really want to pull out of the jar. Right. What's in the jar. That's so satisfying. Yeah. So, so the, the first thing is, you know, talking about vision. Now the other one, the next one is fusion. Right? Okay. This is my favorite word, you know. Uh, we talked about fusion before. Well, we talked last time recently about uh, the fusion of palm olive uh, right. dish soap right. with uh, kind of a scrubber tool and some abrasion tool, and it was redesigned into some kind of a neat little hand tool where you could wash dishes yeah. without utilizing mm -hmm. two different elements from two different companies. They were all fused together yeah. into one um, very useful tool. Yeah, fusions yeah. of. Fusion's fascinating, thing. fascinating thing, and very applicable to product development, but also organizational development. Right. You can pull groups of people together and do some interesting things. But at any rate, fusion is a, is a, is a, is a key element there, and so getting up to the point where you can really start to think kind of creatively about what could we mm -hmm. pull together that would create new value, be kind of unique, yeah. you know, and attract an audience. That would be a great topic for 2023. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. And then, and then, of course, passion, right? Which is such an interesting subject, really, because when you when you sit around with a bunch of uh, CEOs or business owners, you know, and they're talking about business and their multiples and the ratios and the metrics and the money and so on, and you feel almost awkward injecting emotion into that discussion. Yeah. Yeah. But I think passion has to drive whatever you're doing if you want to be successful. I would. That's how no. I'm wired. Anyway. Passion is the fuel. Right. You know, you get the goals, but you really you're sitting in a car with no gasoline until you have passion, right. and that and that makes you go forward. But it's very interesting that uh, certain groups of people will quickly say, "Oh, yeah, that's so important," but there are a whole group of of, of business people that, that would say, I, "I wouldn't even thought about injecting right. that into a, a strategic planning yeah. Yeah. Uh, session." So, I think those three. Now, what's interesting about those three words? Right before we go any further, passion, fusion. Um, you know, what, 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 what things come, what comes up in your mind? All three words end with I-O-N. I was, I was going to say that, but I thought that was, you know, too obvious, but it's true. I-O-N. It's true. Now, you know, ions are a very interesting thing. You can't see them. Right. Right. But if you can look at them um, at a molecular level or atomic level or whatever, right. they're flying around right now. Mm -hmm. All right. All around us. Right. And do you know what they're doing? They're looking, they're open-ended, they're incomplete, and they're looking to, to fuse with a positive ion. Oh, okay. All right. I think that's hugely significant. Yeah. Everybody else is like, who cares, right? <laughs> and I'm like, aren't we all looking for a complimentary something or other to yeah. kind of give us a sense of closure or wholeness in our company? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it's, cool. I mean, isn't that to an interesting? Connect with someone and connect yeah. with, or with yeah, another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel, feel whole that, that we've got it all now. We've got the total package and so on. Huh. That's a great so metaphor. That's very, so we're going to talk about that presentation. But now here's the thing I want to ask for you. And I'm okay. go through that, you know. Let's assume we've got 10, 20, 30 people sitting around, you know. Okay. But here's the thing. I'm, I want to figure out a way to blend this presentation. So I don't want to linger on it too much. Okay and blend it into an additional presentation. Okay. All right. And I think passion, by the way, is the, is the, is the bridge. Okay. All right. That's, that's my thought, because I don't want it to sound like, oh, by the way, we talked about that, and oh, let's talk about this. I don't want to do that. So I you want have it to have a segue. I, there's got to be a natural segue. Right. So if you're, if you're feeling passionate about your business, and yet you have a strong conviction about it, and you're persistent and all that stuff, <coughs> The, the, the next related presentation is one um, that I call Dare to be Epic. Dare to be Epic. Okay. Now, the word epic, it used to be, you know, back in the old Dale Carnegie, uh, uh, Napoleon Hill days, there was a presentation out there floating around, Dare to be Great. Huh. Yeah. Dare to be Great was a big deal. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And greatness, and uh, aspire to greatness. Mm -hmm. And I actually received an award called the Dare to be Great Award when oh. I was... 18 or 19 from the Danforth Foundation in St. Louis. Wow. They'd have a trophy and so on and so on. They pulled me up at, at a 4-H event, a big conference, and uh, I got this award. And it really hit me deep down. It probably was my ego, frankly, but I thought to myself, this is it. I mean, greatness is, is mine. Right. You know, it's in right. my hands. Right. Right. <laughs> but here we are in a contemporary Literally. day, and great is kind of a hackneyed word, but epic. Dude, that is epic. Right? Yeah. That's an epic pizza. I don't care. So here we have this word, E-P-I-C, right? 
So it occurred to me that, and this will be an interactive presentation now. This is what we're going to do in the, sh in the event. Okay. And people will be sitting around, and I'm going to hand this out to everybody, a sheet of paper. And I'm going to give them three words that begin with E. Okay. Or, you know, give them three more words that begin with P. Okay. Three words that begin with I, obviously, and three other words that begin with C. Okay. So now they have 12 words in front of them. And I want them to pick four words. This is their own choice that they make. They, they choose you know, one of each of these letters. Okay. And these four words that, that, that they're going to choose become their, how should I say? I don't say their mantra exactly, but this is how they define themselves to themselves. Okay. Right? And somebody says... Sort of uh, like guideposts within them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Self-imagery things. Yeah, yeah. So if you're a real estate salesperson, for instance, and there, by the way, in Omaha, Nebraska, there are 3,300 real estate salespeople. Wow. So a buyer or a seller of a home says, uh, yeah, thanks for coming by. Uh, tell us who you are. Uh, we don't really know much about you. You work for a real estate agency we've heard of. So, but thanks for coming. Tell us who you are. How can we really know you? Mm -hmm. See? And at that moment, that person, if they attend this event, should be able to say, well, my E word, my P word, my I word, and my C word, you know, yeah. these are the things upon which, around which I've built my career. This is what I believe in, and this is what you can expect from me. Kind of define you. Kind of define you. Yeah. And there's so many people out there, I have to tell you, and I, I hope, I don't mean to sound hackneyed, but that really cannot define themselves. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't really think about that. They don't think about that, yeah. I guess, but... You know, if you're in the world of marketing or sales at all, or even you're looking for a job, you know. Yeah, right, right. An HR person says, well, tell me about yourself. I say, well, there's four things that define me as, yeah. a, as a worker and a human being. They are this, 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 and this. Now, if I were to ask you real quick, <laughs> real quick, and we'll wrap up and go to our sponsor here real quick. Give me an E word just off the top of your head that would kind of describe you in your opinion. We'll go along quickly here. I won't, I won't linger on them. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd have to have that list to actually... Uh pick from, I suppose. Yeah. E-word? Um, extroverted. Extrovert. I think that's a reasonable thing. Okay. Uh, P? Think of, a, think of a P word that you think of. Um, kind of. In, a, in some ways, perfectionistic. Perfectionistic. All right. I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, I? Right? I? What, what would be a, a, a word? I'm, I'm also um, introverted. Introverted. In, so we have extrovert and introvert in the same thing. I love it. This is very <laughs> convoluted. Really and, then, and then C. What would, uh, what would you be if there, we took a, choose a C word? Creative. Creative, of course. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. That'd be the first word I would, I would think of in terms of defining you. Yeah. Fantastic, though, huh. really. That's, that's it, interesting. An interesting... Uh, I'll be curious to see what this the list is. This will be an interesting yeah, exercise. Absolutely. I think people would enjoy that. Do you think so? And, well, there's value yeah, well, in it too. And, see, you know? and then we'll kind of wrap up and have a snack and everybody can stand up and walk around and then tell each other what, the, what these words were. Yeah. And why. I mean, that's really the thing. Why is the story epic. behind it. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of got that, that word or and letter that's inside great, of me. That's huh? a great icebreaker for a, any kind of a group too. Isn't any it kind of a... Maybe I should do the, uh, maybe it should be the first thing. That would be, that'd be great. You think that'd be better, maybe? Might be, yeah. Yeah, and then have the other, the other piece, the vision fusion. Because we would kind of know each who, other then. Who we are, yeah. yeah very interesting, interesting. Okay. very interesting.